Hello and welcome back to Best Tips and Reviews. Um, this will be the second time that I have done this review. These are the Costco Transitional Progressive lenses. These are bifocal lenses. They have the progressive line. They're, they're basically without lines. And uh, right now I'm indoors, inside the house, so they're totally clear. Uh, I did the first review of these about, I don't know, a year and a half, two years ago on my main channel. And this will be the first time that I'm doing one on this channel. But I wanted to show you because I've heard a lot of people talk about how these lenses will degrade over time, how they get worse over time. And I want you to get a close look at the lenses in daylight. You can see that they're, you know, they're clear. Um, I'll come up close to the daylight window here and this is uh, normal they're a little bit scratched up because you know they're a little bit uh, they're a little bit older now and I've, um, the anti-scratch coating has done really well for me I'm really hard on my lenses so I drop my lenses a lot I drop my glasses a lot um, mostly fumbling around trying to find them when I'm half asleep so uh, let's go outside and watch the transition happen and we'll see how dark they get after um, having you know been in action for a couple of years. Uh, my experience is they get pretty dark and they're pretty comfortable when I'm out in the sun. So we'll see. Let's head out. And I'll get the front door here. As luck would have it, I've locked myself out, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So, my experience with these lenses has been that uh, they don't get dark when you um, are driving. They won't get dark, so you have to kind of you have to either get clip-on lenses or you got to get a pair of shades and wear contacts which since most of the time I wear contact lenses that's not really that much of an issue so I'm just gonna walk around the block here and in the time it takes me to walk around the block which is usually you know around 10 minutes or so um, just casually walking uh, we'll go in and out of the shade, out in the sunlight. It's a pretty sunny day this morning, so we should get some pretty good direct sunlight. And you can see that even though I just walked outside, they're just now starting to get dark. And you can also tell that uh, even though they're a couple years old, a lot of people have told me that these, uh, these glasses get dark and they stay dark and they don't actually become undark. They, they lose their ability to become translucent again. So my uh, argument is that I don't have that experience with mine. As you can see when I was in the house my glasses are totally clear. Um, I mentioned in my last review that these things seem to have like a little number on them somewhere. And I've been wearing glasses since I was four years old, so for me, that was kind of weird to see a number on my lenses, but from what I understand from other people that have talked to me, um, that's kind of normal. So somebody made a big critique and said that, you know, whoever left a number on your lens is an amateur or something, and I really kind of disagree. And after having these lenses for two years, you know, a year and a half, two years, I I don't even notice it anymore. In fact, I'd be hard pressed to tell you exactly where it is on the lens now that I've had them for so long. Uh, but you can see they're getting quite dark right here. I'm in the direct sunlight facing the sun. So pretty soon I'll be walking a little bit away from the sun and uh, we'll see what they look like by the time I get all the way back to the house. 
pretty much doing exactly the same walk that I did in my first review and uh, pretty much the same kind of light so hopefully we get a good demonstration they're getting quite dark now um, I feel pretty comfortable you know, with my glasses right now as uh, you know sunglasses kind of right now with them being so dark uh, I don't feel like I'm having to squint too much or anything so that's I feel pretty normal but the argument that I get a lot is that over time these glasses don't get as dark in the daylight and that over time they don't become as clear when you go inside out of the sunlight so um, as you can see they're getting quite dark I'm only about halfway around the block so it's just been a couple of minutes and we'll see by the time I get back to the house how dark they are and <laughs> frankly whether or not I'll be able to get back in the house so fortunately I have my bases covered I think we'll see I have friends that have keys <laughs> but and I have my phone on me so that's good <laughs> well I don't have my keys I do have my phone that's good <laughs> but anyway the uh, the the benefit to these I have found uh, over time I've gotten used to the bifocal thing uh, being able to read down here and I will say that as some other people have pointed out as they were responding to my review some other people have pointed out that having the wider lenses really does seem to help with the distortion from the uh, progressive um, the progressive bifocal thing so uh, for me, it really, it really wasn't an issue. Um, I tend to, the, the bifocal thing, I don't even notice it. I mean, I do use it when I'm conscious of it, but, um, you know, I'm able to read down here pretty well, you know, where you normally would read. So, I really don't. It's, it become pretty natural and I'd never had bifocals before so that's pretty cool I was pretty happy with that and um, as far as you know Costco's uh, Costco and their you know level of expertise and stuff I seen you know I had an easy time with them it wasn't difficult at all to deal with them so that's pretty cool they, they made it really simple for me to uh, make the transition. Now, I had gone to some other opticians to talk to them about these, and there were some other lenses that I could have gotten, uh, some HD lenses, and they were really uh, cost prohibitive. I mean, they were really a lot more expensive. Um, so, I went with Costco. We have a Costco membership, and... Uh, felt pretty good about it afterward then um, you know over time you know I got uh, I got a Mac and I've been doing you know my editing on a Mac this video by the way will not be edited because I want you to see it in its raw true form I'm not going to use any of the YouTube enhancements or anything because they might bring it, you know they might change the look of the glasses I want you to see it in its raw format I'm not going to edit it at all um, which is true for most of the videos on this channel I don't really edit them because I want you to really kind of see what I'm talking about in its raw format anyway with this um, I'm almost home you can see glasses are really quite dark now um, look at them yeah they're they're going quite quite dark I feel pretty comfortable you know I have my face uh, the Sun is in my field of view 
and it's really not bothering me. So that's kind of cool. Again, you know, I really enjoyed uh, getting adjusted to these uh, progressive lenses. Like I said, I never had bifocals before, but doing all the editing I'm doing on high resolution screens, and I recently started editing on a MacBook, uh, MacBook Air, and you know, that's a really tiny screen. And I can see very fine details pretty well with, uh, with the lower half of these. You know, it's, it's where you get it, you're getting up closer. I do find that sometimes my eyes get tired, but I think that's just something of my eyes and not of the, uh, not of the glasses because I find that's true when I'm wearing my contacts as well. Anyway, I'm back home, still locked out, but uh, you can see the glasses are quite dark. Um, they're really not that scratched up for having been beat up as much as I beat up my glasses, and they've probably got a few streaks in them from when I washed them. Uh, they've done really well, better than most of my other glasses. Uh, the scratch, uh, the scratch resistant coating, uh, which is I think also an anti-glare coating, it worked pretty well, and um, I like it a lot. For the money, I mean, I figure, you know, if I'm going to have to buy glasses every couple of years, it seems to be worth it to me. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this review. Make sure you click the subscribe button that they put somewhere around here, and I hope to see you next time. Have a good day.